Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about best books to start ophthalmology. Um, during my work I met so many young residents and those who was just at the beginning of their ophthalmological journey and the first thing they were always asking was uh, which books are the best to start with. So here I'm going to talk about those books which I started with and they work perfectly for me and I hope it will be also helpful for you. So once I started my residency the first book I heard was Kansky and this book they they keep editing this book and bringing new editions and I think this one is the last one from 2019 and this is the ninth edition I loved this book and what was really fascinating at the very beginning is that they have so many clinical images here and that's why this is not only a book this is also an atlas uh, which has so many clinical images of the diseases and additionally they had a very good uh, explanation of the anatomy which is very important please don't start ophthalmology without understanding the anatomy and uh, physiology of the eye don't jump in immediately into the diseases this is not a very correct way to do. So here they give a very good explanation of the anatomy and uh, with images and pictures and it's uh, really good and great to start with. As for the diseases, they also give a lot of bullet points. I would not advise you to, sta uh, to stay only with that book once you start to understand uh, and read more about the diseases, but uh, as a start in general, it's uh, a good one. The next one, uh, if you really want to have a good understanding in the physiology uh, of the eye, I would advise Adler's Physiology of the Eye. I was really happy to see that they brought a new edition because the one which I had and I have uh, was the previous one and this one is the 11th edition and I think this one is from 2011 if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I didn't read it yet, this edition, but um, I read the previous one, I would definitely try to read that too, uh, so I would really recommend this book. The next one, uh, if you really want to have the complex of physiology and pathophysiology, if you want to have the material, um, at that time when I was... was having my residency, I had this Duance of Tomology, uh, the previous edition in a CD-ROM, and as I can see, they're still in a DVD-ROM now, and this is the last edition from 2012. Uh, I, I don't know if they have a new editions, but I think um, this one is the last one. Uh, at the beginning, it might be... Uh, a bit complicated written, uh, a bit more confusing, but once you start to uh, understand how they present and structure the, the all the topics, uh, it's not that hard and complicated anymore. So you can also combine this material, for example, with the material from Adler's Physiology of the Eye, and in a combination they make a very good uh, like a explanation and everything is just like a puzzle takes its own place in your brain and uh, you get a really good knowledge at the end so the next one if you are uh, from german speaking countries and it's very common here and i loved that uh, book too this is lang uh, augenheilkunde this is um if I'm not mistaken, this is also the last uh, edition from 2015. I really liked the uh, presentation of the anatomy of the eye. They have also um, clinical images and very good uh, explanation with pictures. And uh, so I would recommend you to read this book if you are just at the beginning of your uh, journey and if you are in uh, German-speaking countries. Um, before you decide to start reading more uh, complicated and detailed uh, books later in English. Yeah, and uh, then I will continue with the next one. And this one is the last one which I would recommend. This is the Will's Eye Manual. What I want to mention that I stopped buying uh, hardcover books uh, already long ago because I, I like to renew uh, them constantly. And then at some point when you buy a new edition, then the previous edition, you don't need uh, really much. And then you just whether gift someone or you just have it uh, forever and uh, I, I find it very practical to buy PDF books this at least works perfectly for me but there are specific books which you really uh, 
should have as a hardcover and uh, you decide that yourselves of course but for me I bought this book this is Will's Eye Manual and this one I like to have it on my table because uh, after you are done with other books like Kansky, uh, Adler's Physiology when you have already a good knowledge of physiology of the eye uh, and then um, also have uh, some information about the diseases it's good to have this book because it provides you uh, a lot of bullet points so the way uh, they structure the whole material it's uh, really nice and it's when you want to remind yourself something and you want to check it out fast it's great to have it and yeah but i would not advise you to start uh understanding the disease and everything with bullet points because then it's just about learning by heart but not understanding the whole process but later on maybe uh, it's just good to have it that was all my favorite that was everything and those are my uh, favorite books i of course there are so many uh, other books about general ophthalmology you can decide yourself which will be your favorite one uh, but those uh, complex uh, let's say like that of books uh, worked perfectly for me at that time and i hope it will be helpful for you too uh, and uh, the last thing what I would like to mention that uh, you heard probably about the American Academy collection of uh, BCSC books. I would not advise you to start with that immediately, maybe later on once you do your specialization. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm wishing you a good day. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please uh, make sure you subscribe for new upcoming videos. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, idoctortutsi. Thank you. Bye.